Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, adding a um, Elastic integration for um, Cisco iOS so that we can set up uh, logging on our, um, on our core switch and uh, have our switch logs via syslog um, come into our Elastic scene. So I'm going to go to my fleet server policy and you can see I've already got some <coughs> integrations that are um, that are there. I've got a firewall integration, Palo Alto firewall, PFSense integration. And um, I'm going to add an integration. And I'm going to type in Cisco. And I'm looking for Cisco iOS. So this one here. So I'm going to select the uh, Cisco iOS integration. And uh, this is the one I want. And you can see here that um, my data stream dot data set here is Cisco under iOS dot log underscore iOS dot log. Um, so I'm going to add this integration in. And um, I can decide whether I'm going to use TCP or UDP. And I'm going to replace my local host with 0.0.0.0. .0 and my syslog port is going to be the default port UDP 514. And um, we can add this um, integration into our um, fleet server policy. So I'll just save and continue and save and deploy the changes. And uh, what that will do is um, that will um, add that integration in. Might take a little while. So if I flick over to my switch, and you can see here now the integration's been added, and um, it's called Cisco iOS 1. Okay, so let's have a look at our switch. And um, let's see if we can uh, see our configuration on our switch. So I've got a putty connection into a switch. And I'll just, um, seems to have dropped it. So the same switch. So I'll just, and that's a, um, yep, and open that up. And it's just got some basic security on here at the moment. So, so I'll just do a show run and we'll have a look at the running config I've currently got set up. I'll just copy all of that. It's easier if I copy it. And copy to the clipboard and I'll open up in Notepad. They could do this anyway. So let's have a look at our configuration. So we've got um, our host name, our enable password, and um, we're setting the clock time zone to UTC plus 10, which is our current time zone. Um, I've got a name server, which I'm using is just Google DNS for my name server. And um, got our interfaces here. And I've got a, um, a VLAN for remote management um, based on IP 192.168.254. Also set up the default gateway for this um, subnet as 100.1. And the reason I'm doing that is that um, um, when I go to... Um, when I go, I'm, I'm using this NTP server, which is pool.ntp.org. And um, even though it's got the um, the IP address in here, I actually wanted to re resolve it via domain name. But um, I've got my NTP server set up. So my time base is, um, is synchronized. And um, we've also got um, logging trap warnings and we're logging the auth facility and we're logging to 192.168.100.200. Now, I could have said that I'm logging via UDP on port 514, but that's the default um, syslog logging for, um, for a Cisco switch. So my switch is um, functioning, and I can ping my switch. I'm actually telling I'm actually telling it into it. So what I want to do is I want to run up Wireshark and um, have a look and see whether I've got any any logs coming through. So I'll just run run Wireshark up. 
And when I've got Wireshark, I'm going to start collecting logs on um, ETH0. And I want to I want to filter on um, uh, UDP dot port and equals equals five one four and see what I've got coming through. So you can see here I've got nothing at the moment coming through, um, but I need to do something on my switch. To, um, to generate some activity. So I'll just pause for a moment. And we'll see if we can generate some logs from our switch. So you can see we've actually got a log come through. And um, so the source is 192.168.102.54, which is the switch. The destination is my scene, which is 192.168.102.200. Protocol is syslog. And um, we can see here we've got the, um, if you look at the, um, the, um, the syslog message, we've got our security auth, security audit, level error conditions, and um, information that's come through. So let's have a look and see whether we can, we can find that information in our scene. So the way we would do that is um, we would go back to, um, back to fleet. And uh, we can go and have a look in Discover. Now, if we look at the integration, if we go and have a look at the integration, we noticed before that um, actually, no, not the integration itself, but um, the integration documentation here, you can see here that our data stream data set is Cisco underscore iOS dot log. So let's go back and, um, and have a look at Discover. And we'll look into the logs, and we're going to filter on data stream dot data set. Um, let's have a look um, here. Data stream dot data set equals Cisco iOS dot log, and we'll update that filter, and we can see that our log has successfully come through. So let's look at the detail of our log. Um, you can see here that um, this is the date and time. The agent it came from was our fleet agent. And um, the data stream data set is Cisco iOS.log. Um, so you can see the event code was up down. And basically an interface went down and came back up again. Um, we have a look at the... Um, Any other information that we can get out of that? Let's look at the second page. Um, so time zone, log level is error log, um, source address that it came from, which is our switch. And um, here's our the information that's come through from the, um, from the switch coming into. So what we can see here is that um, we're um, successfully able to ingest logs from our switch. Uh, via syslog into our into our scene. Thanks very much for watching.